Some final year geography students of the Keon High School were recently given a tour of the sanitary landfill in Connery, managed by the St. Kitts Solid Waste Management Corporation, the SWMC. The tour was conducted by landfill manager Mr. Lexington Bedford, who guided them through the process from when a garbage truck arrives at the landfill to the dumping procedure, as well as how different kinds of waste are treated. Geography teacher at the Keon High School, Dr. Joyel Clark, explained the purpose of the tour. We brought students here today so that they could see firsthand how garbage is managed in St. Kitts. Recycled, reused, organized, compacted for shipping, etc. So instead of just learning about pollution and waste production in St. Kitts, we wanted them to see firsthand what happens as the trucks come in and how it's organized at the landfill. Well, I have way less to teach, which is very good because instead of having to find videos or describe, describe, describe so they could understand what happens at a landfill, they have seen it firsthand. So this should help them answer any question. We dealt with everything from methane production, which is a topic we do in climate change, recycling, the tires. So about five different topics were covered today, even though we only came to deal with pollution. Mr. Bedford believes the tour would have provided a complete picture to the students on the state of waste management in St. Kitts. Tour, we, we, we split it into two aspects. We had the administrative part of it and then we had the operations part of it. We showed them the administrative part, how we do things, how we go the chain link, how we come upwards and go back downwards, being from the hut to the web bridge to my office and backwards. Then we had the operations part of it, where we showed them the cars that are derelict vehicles, what the final outcome, how they get um, exported to the U.S. to become recyclable metal. We have um, we had them that experience a little experience with the fire because it's presently a fire at the landfill. Um, that is a constant challenge. Um, we show them how we separate the, the garbage into city waste from domestic waste and the days on which they come most likely. Um, we show them the operations, the spotters, the pickers and so forth, the different personnel we, we have on the landfill and the title that we have attached to them um, with regards to what work they do on the, on the landfill. Namayombo Mgunela, SWMC marketing supervisor, also guided the students on the tour. We were able to speak to them about the challenges that we face, but as well as those successes that we have been able to achieve. And so one of the things that really, really impressed them was the recycling of the derelict goods. As you know, we have been having an initiative of disposal of derelict vehicles from since I believe it would have been when the amnesty was put in place at the end of 2018. Meanwhile, two of the students gave their impressions of the tour and how this changed their views of the landfill and waste management. Well, honestly, it's well managed, more managed than I thought. I thought um, different type of waste would be like all over the place, but you have section by section for every type of waste. Well, at the Kenya High School, we have basically an environmental club and we deal with basically um, managing your gap, yeah, and like trying to reduce plastic pollution and everything and after coming here it will help to dispose of your garbage properly instead of just littering and doing all sorts of stuff. Dr. Joel Clark said that they would be looking to do a similar exercise in coming years with younger students at the Keon High School.